Hey, this is Josh here with Snapdragon Hemp. Uh, so the question I want to answer today is what is Delta 8 and why is Delta 8 legal? Uh, so Delta 8 is probably, ex with the exception of CBD and its, and its start of the boom, the fastest growing single cannabinoid on the market. Uh, this past year has been just an eruption of Delta 8. Um, and for folks that have tried some really good Delta 8 products, maybe some of the Snapdragon Hemp Delta 8 products, uh, you probably wondered how is this legal because it is so effective. Uh, so the way we do our blend is everything, uh, I'll go ahead and say legality, everything that we make whenever we test this beautiful cinnamon toast crunch treat or the s'more treat to the Rice Krispie treats, everything's gonna be less than the 0.3% on the Delta 9 THC. Some of the differences between Delta 9 and Delta 8 are the Delta 9 is a marijuana derivative and the Delta 8 is a hemp derivative. The Delta 8 and 9, they're just one carbon chain off in their molecule structure, but the Delta 8 is gonna resemble way more of a hemp derived effect because it is hemp derived, but just the, the ratio and the effects of the cannabinoid are gonna be more of like a one-to-one -one CBD type ratio. Delta-8 is a hemp derived THC, so it offers that entourage effect that most look for in a full spectrum product. Uh, so creating some really high potent Delta-8 products mixed with CBD, CBN, CBG, CBC, that we've been able to isolate into their own, you know, 98% structure allows us to create products that are different than most other products on the market. You know, we're not just selling a CBD oil or a CBD edible. We're selling you this amazing CBD, CB, I mean, there's 13 cannabinoids that are testable by our local lab and 18 cannabinoids that we send off to our mass spec lab in Kentucky. So we're getting really detailed and finding more than what normal people are even looking for. Uh, we have results from THCV that have come back as well as CBT, Delta-6 acid base, and Delta 10 as well that have come back on the mass spec report. So they're able to take, hey, this is the mass of what this isomer of THC is. This is the mass of what CBG is. This is the mass of what a CBG isomer could be because it resembles CBG in every shape and fashion, but the molecular weight is just a hair off. So we're going so far deeper than what a lot of folks are. So if you try something from us and you're amazed at the potency of it, um, you know, we can chemically explain how we've, you know, formulated this product to be uh, amazing. So the differences between the Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10 is that the, the length of their chain. So, um, but, but there's just like how CBD and THC vary only by a, I believe it's a, it's a hydrogen bond that the oxygen bond connects to at a different angle on the CBD versus the THC. So a very, very small difference between the molecules when you're looking at their uh, like a Lewis structure of the, mo of the molecule. They, they look really, really close. But that one bond or that one angle difference creates a completely different a psychoactive or non-psychoactive effect. So whenever you take a Delta-9 and you have a Delta-8 or a Delta-10, so Delta-9 in an acid reaction would turn into a Delta-8 or Delta-10 or a Delta-11. And then there's different oxygen hydrogen bonds when you get into the Delta-11 acid base too, because the reasons why, like for example, if you need, eat an edible, if you eat a Delta-8 or Delta-9 edible, they have somewhat of a similar reaction in your stomach acid whenever it breaks down so it creates different effects you know that are more of that like entourage that body relaxation so delta 8 it does have a head relaxation but it's more so a body relaxation same thing with the cbn when you get into cbn so cbn used to be thc to be to become a cbn it would have had to been a thc oxygen heat will degrade thc into cbn you know getting higher cbn numbers there's a whole science and chemistry behind why we make stronger cbn products right and then then again getting into the cbn how it's broke down in your body it all it, it offers almost no head change it off it feels like what cbn pure cbn would be a thc free product at that point so you don't have the head change you have the body change and all we're doing is barely altering the structure or if, if we have the structure in a, in a lower quantity using different you know chromatography methods or so to isolate that cannabinoid into different ratios but the way the body digests the way the body recepts the way the body reacts to delta 8 versus delta 9 versus delta 10 versus cbn which used to be a delta 8 again cbn can be delta 8 derived delta 9 derived so there's different derived versions of cbn that react more like what it was derived from so if you were to get something from somebody else that was a lower quality derived CBN or something that was more synthesized to be a CBN versus doing it just on a 100% organic natural basis of conversions and, and we believe doing it the right way with less isomerization as possible, um, you know, you, you can tell a difference. THCV has been the biggest one that we've been able to figure out. THCV that's Delta-8 derived versus THCV that's Delta-9 derived. 
there's no comparison between the two. Um, so you know, as we learn more, you know, people have been talking about THCP lately. We're trying to figure that one out, but nobody tests for it. So if we have it, we wouldn't know we had it. So uh, uh, we're, we're still trying to figure that one out. But that's the way some of the different molecules kind of react. You know, the Delta-8 is going to be more of a like a lower potency. You're going to feel it, but 30, 40 milligrams of Delta-8, it's not going to be like taking 10 milligrams of like an edible from a, a legal state, right? So it's still, it's still you can tell it's hemp derived. You can still tell Delta-8. Um, it's not as you know the potential for anxiety and that's this is why we really love delta 8 in the hemp industry is the potential for anxiety and paranoia are almost cut away with delta 8 even delta 8 in high doses uh, there's a potential for the sleepiness and the tired and wanting to go to bed uh, and there's been countless people that have come and gotten our edibles and they said well, the first time I got one I ate a whole edible or ate everything <laughs> I come in the store and everything was so delicious we bought everything or we ate everything that we bought that day uh, and they're like within 45 minutes I was asleep and I woke up the next day at like 11 So that's really the, the only negative about it compared to when you get into the high Delta 9 numbers like in like a you know in a, in a legal or recreational state um, There's that potential for maybe a, an overdose of which would lead to a side effect of nausea Anxiety, right? So the Delta 8 really counteracts that potential for that happening because it's not as strong But it is strong and there are there's so much CBD that's in our products as well too that CBD counteracts the Delta 8 effectiveness or the Delta 9 like two effectiveness type thing so we really take a lot of pride in making a good good quality product so. Thanks for watching this video today. We have some really good other videos about all sorts of cannabinoids and our processes and how we do it and what else we do uh, here at Snapdragon Hemp. So definitely check out our other videos. Also, we'd love to hear customer feedback and just feedback about the video. So, so comment down below. We'll respond to you with some comments. And if you have any other questions or want a custom video made about something else in the industry that people are asking, just dying to know, and you want to hear Snapdragon's opinion on it, comment and let us know what videos you want. We'll make them for you. Thanks.